two sides making their way out. First ever appearance in the championship here for the New England Free Jacks. San Diego was last in it in 2019. A heartbreaking loss for them at home against a team that they knocked off last week for the first time in four tries in the championship series, the Seattle Seawolves. These two teams are primed. They are ready to go, and it's time now to get you set with the 23-man selections. Ali Salumaria presents the San Diego lineup, and for that, Mike Petri. The Legion go with an unchanged lineup for today's championship final. This dominant forward pack will be led up front by last week's try scorer Pippoletti and the wrecking ball Malolo at hooker, while Poitivin will bring physicality as their enforcer wearing the sixth jersey. The back line is as star-studded as it gets. It's anchored by last week's player of the match, the legendary former New Zealand All Black and two-time Rugby World Cup winner, Ma'ananu. He's surrounded by four USA Eagles in Huli, Rocky, Osberger, and Teo. And keep your eyes on number 14, Awaki. He scored two big tries last week, and we'll be looking to bring more flair to this final. Head coach Danny Lee goes with six forwards and two backs on the bench. It's a group that includes three USA Eagles with Sylvia, Bowman, and Mattias, making it seven total USA national team players to the Legion as they hope to lift the shield 80 minutes from now. All right, Bree Kim, Scott Matthew and his side. Take us through their selections. There's just one change in the forwards from last week. Samisi Paella, the Tongan International, starts at lock. Huey Mitch Jacobson captains this side today. Also keep an eye out for Wea Conradi, who has had a phenomenal campaign all year. Now, in the backs, just one change as well. USA Eagle Mitch Wilson returns from injury and starts on the wing. He will have a busy day today, but watch out for LaRue Milan at number 12. We've already talked about him. His runs and carries have propelled his side through the postseason. Now, second year head coach Scott Matthey. He hails from Durban, South Africa. He's Came against the San Diego side. 11 straight victories for New England. Ma'ananu back there, mishandled it. Now an opportunity here. The Free Jacks pick it up, and they're going to take it in. Playmaker at 10. Danny Lee talked about how, how difficult the decision has been at fly half, and he's earned the selection for this championship final. So out of the line out there, we do have Nate Sylvia in the match for Piffoletti. That loose end prop position for San Diego. Judd offloading into the hands of Poitavin, and Christian Poitavin. Against the team with heavy line speed, you want them backpedaling. And New England is backpedaling in these situations. And what that does is this opens up seams. Look at Richard Judd. All he has to do is find that seam on that outside of that ruck. And then he's just looking. Goes to Ben Lesage. Gets back to the five meter line. Ball down on the deck. Judd, the nine for San Diego. What an addition he's been. And Patros comes over, and he has been absolutely sizzling. To operate takes a look now. Goose step. Patros steps on the gas, breaks through there. Offloads there, and Ma'ananu made the tackle for San Diego. First shot, they were beaten by New York on their home pitch last year in the conference final. They'd hope to be here, and Patros. Things like this happen, you may not get that chance back. You just want to keep that scoreboard ticking over. They're still in the right end of the field here. But, and here comes Augsburger. Nate Augsburger trying to race his way in, get by Patros, and he does! Nate Augsburger has been a... They come out quick, and then look at this, switch back inside, and then Augsburger, two missed tackles there from the Free Jacks. That's not okay. We've given the Free Jacks defense so much... Final play of the half. Toe meets leather on the way from Hooley, and Hooley is able to stick it. And the Legion, the top team in Major League Rugby, guys. Patros with it now. Inside ball, trying to get a break here is Milan. Great offload! Milan with a beautiful play. Here comes McDonald. He's taken down at the five. So a couple of big runs there from the Free Jacks, and they're knocking on the door once again here. They go out over the top. Balakana's out there, diving towards the line. No sick. There's the arm in the air. James puts the arm. Finishers in the league, and let's take a look at that break. Patros with the inside ball here to Milan with that little offload. And look here, McDonald just coming in through and able to keep it alive there for the Free Jacks and getting it out wide, knowing there's very few numbers on the right-hand okay, side, man. but Poland skipping four or five guys. No gap so far for the Legion to crack through here yet. They've forced them back now another five meters. Sam Fishley been so outstanding since he came in, just really laying dominant hits and getting in there nice and low to push the Legion back. Fishley, number 19, 
Legion, point of it outside, Augsburger diving, and Augsburger's got another one. And the Legion take the lead back here in the 61st minute. Credit does a really nice job here on defense, but finally, finally under pressure, they find the space in the outside channel, and it comes through an offload there again. It's another one that they've scored off an offload, and then Nate Augsburger, he knows where the try line is. He has been finding it all season long. Gets it free. All the free jacks on scene, they're all in between the 15s right now. There's yep. nobody, I was one out wide. Mitch Wilson's out wide. Here's Patros now, inside ball. Good read defensively from San Diego. Nolan nearly taken away, now they got a chance. It's Milan to the line, and Maru Milan. You mentioned it, Mike Petri. And here we see the try. Free jacks finally starting to fan out. Nanu shoots up, but Milan sees the gap. And even just a phase before that, it looked like that they might lose the ball, but Patras was able to clean up the ruck. As we see here. And here's where they almost got in. That's, ooh, that's a tough call, but Patras able to clean it up, get the San Diego player off these two teams, just as we hoped and expected as we go into these last two minutes. The Vocero try summary, there it is. The room Milan, the most recent, the most important one in this match, making it 25-24. Two and a half minutes to go here in the championship. Can New England hold off San Diego? Or can the Legion, as they told Kit McConico and Matt Truville before the match, the job is not finished. Can they finish the job? Short ball, nothing there. Free Jacks trying to hold up here. And they've got to stay so disciplined here. They cannot commit a penalty. Of course, penalty kick three points. That would put the Legion over. Yep. You can see Henderson in the pocket. He's getting ready for it. He's just barking orders in front of him. You can yep. see him. He's parked right back in here. Yep. He got it now. He's got it, but he can't kick that ball. Lasage forces him out. Poitavin's got it now. Christian Poitavin, tough run from him. Inside of the 22-meter line goes Poitavin. There they come with some speed. About 15 meters out. Into the middle now. Quickly played on. Ma'ananu trying to get a handle on it. He cannot. It is knocked on. And New England's going to get the ball here. Trying to execute it, as Mike said. Gets to the back, gets to it. Jason Patros has got it. Jason Patros sends it into touch, and that's the match. The MLR Shield is indeed shipping up to Boston. The New England Free Jacks, 2023 Major League Rugby champions as they defeat San Diego in a classic 25-24.